To add new users to Salesforce, what you want to do is to go to the settings gear here and then click uh, users and users and that'll bring you up to this screen and this is showing your, your active users although it may default to all users uh, depends on how it comes into the system. Uh, but what, any of these fields here are clickable so if you want to sort, sort it on full name uh, you just click that, it'll sort it and it'll show you this arrow. You can also sort on profile if you want to gather folks by specific profiles to see what that looks like. You can also do it by last login to see who the most recent users are because if someone is, let's just say if, if someone hasn't logged in recently and is active, then they're not very active and they should be targeted for uh, or considered um, for removal if you're low on licenses. Uh, so you can also create new views and do other things there. Uh, but let's say if you want to remove somebody uh, from, from the system, let's say what I've got is an active user here, Ted Smith, uh, I can click edit and what that does is to bring up Ted Smith, I click take him off and there's some language you can read, I'm going to say yes I want to remove him and then you want to save it and what that does is to save the fact that he is no longer active and then if what you're doing is, yeah, you can see he, he's no longer active here, that'll free up a license for you as well, which is always the constraint, right? So I'm going to click new user. What that's going to do is to bring me, oh, well, first thing I want to do is to make sure I've picked uh, a profile that I want to use. Um, and that way when I'm in here and a new user, let's say I come up with Alex and I'm going to enter him as Taylor um, and his, it automatically creates an alias, and if, if his uh, if his email is is Alex T at pe.org, clicking here again creates that username. And as as long as th this domain is the domain that you're using, it's fine to use the username that way. Otherwise, if it's a consultant or somebody else, it's probably easier to go on ahead and just uh, um, you know give them a a username that is in fact your domain. So if their email doesn't match your domain, create a, a domain that matches yours and just put their initials here um, just because it's easy for them to be able to then manage logins. Uh, role, if you're using roles, it's important. Uh, in this case, we're not using roles. Um, and the user license, if you select here, you can identify which license you want to do. It's generally called Salesforce, but I've used all my Salesforces. And then profiles dependent on the license. So uh, select the one that, that based on what you saw before. And then as you roll down, uh, it's automatically marked active. And then as you go down, uh, imp helpful is to put in a mobile phone number because that supports then uh, you know uh, SMS and text uh, validation of the of the profile. Uh, good to enter their mailing address at least to understand it because that'll allow you to uh, to change the time zone as you need it as you need to. And then uh, my coaching is you you take this off unless you're sending a whole bunch in which case you're probably I'm not even watching this video for that reason, but um, what I do is I take that off, uh, click save. Uh, that'll tell me whether or not it all worked and whether there were any issues. And you may have come up with red lines and said you got to fix something first. Um, what I can do then is, is I can send Alex an email address and say uh, I, I'm, you know, setting you up as a user in Salesforce. You're going to get a message. It may show up in your spam filter, but make sure that you uh, uh, are able to. Um, to, to send it if you can. And what you're seeing too is there's lots of other user information that now is available once someone has been created. Uh, and so we're going to now, once you've sent the email, you just click edit again and you drop down and you send. Um, then you can then you can select this field again, which is the generate the password and uh, click save and it'll send it and you should be all set. Uh, good luck setting up uh, new contacts.